Hey guys, it's uh, Jerome China. I'm a metal sculptor based in northern New Jersey, and uh, we've just entered the hallway of my house um, that I also use as my gallery space when the work is not being shown in the gallery. We also collect works from other artists. I think that's really important to um, support them. Um, this is a large African mask. I'm not sure the origin of this particular piece. Um, the metal piece that you see in this frame is um, a piece that I created probably around 2014 um, when I was just getting started. So we're going to pan around and um, we're going to just go throughout some of the rooms in my house um, so you can take a look at some of the other artwork that's available here. Um, the large piece that you see on the wall here is a piece by an artist friend of mine whose name is Joe Gilmore. Um, he's a Jersey City-based artist. Um, we collected quite a few pieces of his work. Um, you know, very colorful, um, large-scale works. The piece that's sitting on the table is a metal sculpture called Put Your Hands on Your Hips, Let Your Backbone Slip. This is more figurative than the work that I currently do. I've moved pretty much to totally abstract work. So we're gonna pan around a little bit more here. This is the work of my good friend, Jerry Gant. Um, Jerry Gant passed away about two years ago. Um, this is a mask made out of sheet metal. It's been powder coated in an organi type feel. Very, very thin. Um, Jerry was a brilliant artist, a um, really good friend, and his estate allowed me to showcase a few pieces at my house. I believe these are the only pieces that are actually opened or that are on the market currently. So I'm really glad that they allowed me to add these pieces to my show and my space. So we're going to move around a little bit more in the same direction. Um, as we walk through, you notice that there are sculptures pretty much all over the place. Um, the three here are pieces of my work, all made from scrap metal. Um, I try to not spend a lot of money in materials. So we're just going to keep on moving through. It's another mask by Jerry Gant. And here we are. Um, as I mentioned, I do like to collect the work of other artists. Um, this is a Newark-based artist um, whose name is Diane Terrell, um, one of the very few artists that I've had an opportunity to trade with. Um, got started in 2012. Um, I generally buy artwork right out. Every once in a while, I'll take a look at um, if the artist is interested in trading. Um, you know, We'll work something out and I'll take a look at doing that. I think it's a great way to collect work of other artists that you enjoy if you, you know, can't afford their work or if you're, you know, looking to add works to your collections. I'm um, trading is a really good way to do it. Uh, more sculpture here. This is a piece entitled You Must Be Out of Your Cotton Picking Mine. Um, my Kind of like commentary on the slave trade. And keep on panning around here. Also in our collection, uh, what we've had an opportunity to do over the years is um, we have an opportunity to collect portraits of African Americans from the late 1800s to early 1900s. Um, in total, we probably have um, over 100 of these in various sizes. This is another piece that I just acquired um, from a Pennsylvania-based artist whose name is Femi Johnson. Um, this was also um, another trade. He was kind enough to actually trade with me. 
Um, I love this piece. He's an amazing abstract artist. And um, we were in a show together in Philadelphia. And I just fell in love with his work. And um, I'm really glad to add this piece to my collection. So I'm going to just keep on panning around. Most of the work that you'll see um, that I'm showing are works of mine. Um, these are um, more works. Um, these are all works that are made from scrap metal, various sizes. And on the table here, if we can kind of like get a close up on this, this is a book um, about African American collecting by Halima Taha. Halima Taha. Um, this is what I consider the Bible of collecting African American works. Um, takes you through the whole process of, you know, what you should look for. Um, gives you a lot of artist names um, that you may not be familiar with. Um, I understand she's working on a second edition, um, but if you're collecting African American work, um, this is um, definitely a must have. And as I mentioned, just going to pan around a little bit more here. And as I mentioned, um, I really enjoy collecting the works of other artists. Um, this is an artist friend of mine based out of New York, whose name is David Speed. Um, David Speed and Danny Simmons actually introduced me to abstract artwork. And once I got that introduction, I just like never stopped. So we're going to keep on moving around to another room in my house. Um, this is another David Speed, um, and beside is another, it's another Joe Gilmore painting. These are some smaller pieces that I'm working on. Um, this piece is entitled, It's a Wrap. Um, they're probably eight inch by eight inch, um, flame torched wood with scrap metal for the most part. As I mentioned, um, we do have a collection of portraits of African Americans from the late 1800s to early 1900s. This is um, just like another sample um, of the hundred or so that we collected. Um, a lot of them are not hung, um, but here they are. Let's pan back around, walk through the room some more. Doing um, the whole stay at home thing, I've had an opportunity to experiment with some more materials. This one is a wood and metal sculpture um, that has um, spare rib bones. Um, this piece was inspired by a, a number of my friends who do assemblage work where, you know, they basically just use anything that's available. So I have um, a lot of people to thank for inspiration from this piece. It's also a two-sided piece as well. Uh, this is another wall sculpture. Um, this piece is called um, Self-repair. Um, sometimes when artists are coming up with works, um, they make works, you know, kind of like depending on some things that they're going through. Um, this came out of me having a whole bunch of car problems at the same time. So these are car parts um, that came from off various cars or at least two cars that we have. I'm just going to pan around the room here a little bit. It's another large work by David Speed um, on the wall here. It's actually a pear, abstract pear tree, which is actually pretty cool. Um, the piece that you see here was a piece that I did when I didn't have a studio. I was jonesing to create some kind of artwork. So this is a paper mache piece that I did. And this was done around the time that one of the mayors in New York had this outrageous stop and frisk policy. So this piece is entitled um, 
appropriately stop and frisk. So let's move, this might be moving a little quickly. Let's move um, to the outdoors. I also have a sculpture garden in my backyard. Um, kind of like started because I got really tired of seeing works in my house and I put started putting them out in the backyard and came out here one day and it turned into a sculpture garden. So again, like I mentioned before, I do sh do a show here where I show the works of um, other metal sculptors. Um, that generally happens about once a year. It's a weekend affair. Um, and it's actually been pretty successful so far. I'm going to be moving down, um, going towards the backyard. Um, in addition to pedestal or freestanding sculptures, um, I decided to make some wall sculptures as well. Um, when most people think of sculpture, particularly metal sculpture, they think um, in terms of freestanding or something that you put on the pedestal. So I wanted to showcase some works that you could actually put on your wall. Just going to pan around a little bit more here. So um, like I may have mentioned, I got started in um, 2012. Um, I did my first residency at a commercial welding shop um, located in Jersey City. Um, just fell in love with the medium. Um, they were, you know, creating commercial work and they were making artwork out of the scrap metal. And I was just fascinated by the whole process. Um, after three months of begging, they finally decided to... Um, take me under their wing, teach me how to weld, and teach me some basic design techniques. So this is the sculpture garden. And over here, this piece that we're moving up on is um, my first piece that I've ever did. Um, this was after um, six weeks class. This piece is entitled Spartacus. And I brought this piece home and people around me kind of like decided that, hey, looks like you know what you're doing here. Maybe this is something that you should continue. So um, after this piece, I just really never stopped. Pan around a little bit more here. So you'll find, see that there are a number of sculptures in this backyard. Um, again, this is where most of the work ends up because I just really get tired of seeing it in my house. It's a piece called The Guardian. Um, this is my third or fourth piece that I made. It's about 13 feet high. It's been shown um, in my city a few times, but uh, mostly just hangs out in the backyard. So I think I'm supposed to be talking a little bit about process. Um, I don't know if I really have a process. Um, I rarely go into my work studio space with something in mind. I generally throw on some music, um, throw some scrap metal on the floor, stare at it for minutes or hours at a time, and basically just see what it wants to become. Um, I work very, very intuitively. Um, um, these are works, um, this particular piece here, um, these are works by an artist. Um, his name is Seth L. Gardner. Um, he was based out of Detroit. Um, had an opportunity to show his work here last year. He was kind enough to um, let me still display the work in my outdoor garden space. So I don't know, I think that that's it. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, you can find some of my work on Instagram. You can look me up at China Jerome. Um, I have a Facebook page called The Lighter Side of Darkness Metal Sculpture Garden which is the name of my sculpture garden. Um, hopefully when this whole pandemic thing is over, I'll be able to hold some more events here where I can invite some people over to take a look at um, some of the works in metal. It's a backyard um, sculpture garden totally devoted to metal work. Well, it's been a pleasure. Hope you had as much fun as I have. Peace.